Hey everybody, it's me Chris again, Di Giovanna Family Recipes. I got my son Jack here in the kitchen. And if you watch some of my videos, sometimes you hear strange noises in the background. That would be Jack. So, um, today I'm going to show you how I make him his chicken nuggets. But I'm going to put him down first and we'll get started. Alright, so Jack's inside wrecking the place. And now I can show you how I make his chicken nuggets. I got a medium sized non-stick pan here. I got in there a couple tablespoons of butter and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to start heating this pan up and melting the butter. I already got my bowl over here. I'm going to put the chicken nuggets on to drain when I'm done. And here I have organic boneless skinless chicken breast. I already washed it and drained it. And uh, there's three main things that we always buy organic for when it comes to Jack. And it's a little more expensive, but when it comes to chicken, eggs, and milk, I always use organic. I'll show you how to cut the chicken nuggets. So I'm basically going to cut this in half as if I were making chicken cutlets, just to make it a little bit thinner. Just watch your fingers. And you get two pieces. And then I'm going to look, and this one's thin. I'm just going to make, basically, bite-sized pieces for Jack. Put them right in my bowl. And I'll do the other side and wash my hands and I'll show you how we cook them. Okay, so once you cut your chicken up, all you gotta do, give it a little seasoning. You want it to taste good. Not too much. I don't want really salty chicken for Jack. Just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Not too much. I'm gonna toss it. Get a nice even coat. I hear my butter crackling into the pan getting hot. And I'm going to take each one and just coat it. Nice light coating right in the flour. I right, got my chicken nuggets all nicely coated in the flour. I got my uh, pan is hot but I want to turn it up a little more. I had it on medium low. I'm going to turn it a little bit past medium, medium high. And I'm going to start putting in my chicken cutlets. Mix the butter around a little bit, and you can hear the pan's nice and hot. I'm going to let these cook on the first side for about four minutes. So I, I cleaned up a little bit. You can see it's very important when you're cooking, stay organized, clean as you go. I washed my tongs off, I cleaned the bowls that the chicken was in, and in that time, in that four minutes, my chicken nuggets have been cooking, and, uh, and I checked them a couple times. They got a nice golden brown, and they're ready to be flipped. I'm going to flip them and cook them about another three minutes. Alright, so after about three more minutes, these are done. I toss them around. I want to make sure they're all cooked and I got a nice golden brown all around. And the smell in here, cooking it this way, this is basically how you make fried chicken. So the whole place smells like KFC. It smells really awesome. I'm going to put these in the bowl over here and let them just drain off a little. All right, so there you have it, Jack's Chicken Nuggets. Look what I made for you, buddy. You see them? They look good, right? Now, if you got older kids, you could cut these in strips and make chicken fingers. It'll blow away any restaurant you order them from. It's cheaper, it's much better. I'm gonna take these, we put them in the freezer in a Ziploc bag and just take them out when Jack gets hungry. So let's see, are you hungry? No? Okay, he's not hungry. All right, well, Jack wasn't hungry, and you know what? He's the boss, so I can't make him do anything. So I, now I gotta try one, unfortunately. I gotta see how these are. Mm. Really delicious. Better than anything you can get at the store. You should try it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. DJ Vana Family Recipes.